This is perfect, perfect weather to work outside, and I'm loving it. So, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to stay like this, but I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we've got an update uh, for this and a little bit of work to do. As you can tell, uh, obviously, I've been working a little bit. Uh, I just cut all this grass. Uh, I moved all the stones to that back corner back there, uh, the ones that were sitting here, the ones that were scattered through my yard, uh, and a little bit more. Uh, just so the way, and I've finally been able to cut all this grass in preparation for this uh, because we got some work coming down tomorrow. But today, uh, we have some stuff to complete uh, in preparation for the stuff to happen to this. So what's happening tomorrow? Well, since we know it's a septic tank, I'm getting it pumped out tomorrow. Uh, not filled in uh, because their company doesn't fill stuff in or they fill the old tanks in, I guess. Uh, but it should they should be able to give you some information on whether or not I'm able to use all this dirt to fill in that or not. Uh, but nonetheless, they're going to fill it, uh, to pump it out. So in preparation for that, I gotta clear this up because I've never seen a, uh, a septic tank pumped out. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how much access they need. Uh, but just in case uh, they need a little bit more access, so I'm gonna grab my shovel and a rake. We're gonna pull back a bunch of this dirt, see if I can pull any other stones up for now. Uh, so that way it's easier for them to come in tomorrow and get stuff ready or pump it out, I should say. Second item of business are these right here. Um, so you can see there's a bunch of these stones. We put out a few here uh, while my parents were here, but we still have a few stones that are stuck in right here. Um, some buried stones right here, which we're gonna be picking up just to see how far around the yard they go. Uh, do a little bit of exploring, uh, see what else there is to find in my yard because I really don't know how much this is covered, or I guess how much how much is stone underneath all this dirt and grass. So we're gonna explore a little bit there. So let's jump right into it because it's getting late, I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna get some food. Uh, but first, I gotta do this. So let's grab my stuff and let's get working. All right, first things first, let's deal with these stones because I feel like these are probably gonna be the easiest things to take care of. Uh, and I'm hoping it's honestly just the two of these, so we'll see how far they go. Uh, that's a root. Well, is it a root maybe? Oh, no, it's not actually, that's a pipe. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to these. I'm gonna put these with the other ones that are in the back corner. And depending on what the company finds tomorrow, I'll probably end up reusing them. So. wasn't so smart of me. Uh, I'm gonna move these stones and then we'll get to the tank. Since this uh, dirt is fairly loose, I'm gonna break it up a little bit here. And then whatever I can't rake back, I'll uh, use my shovel on. Alright, small update. This is one half 
of the tank, I guess. Well, I'm assuming it's a half. I don't know what's on this side. It might go all over there. Uh, but nonetheless, we got obviously an edge cut out. Or an edge cut out. So you can see it's about four feet, three and a half feet or so. Uh, and it looks to be at least, if anything, we can get this side up uh, to have them pump it out. And then we can take a look at this angle uh, from this way over here to see how far back it goes. But I'm gonna keep working on that side, push all that dirt back, scoop it back like I did this side, see what we can come up with, so. A uh, little update, uh, I'm almost done, but I just wanna show you guys, where's he at? He's digging in right here. Uh, there's a little burrower snake of some sort. All right, look at that, look at him. Ew, he's just sitting there. He doesn't really run. I definitely think I scared him, so let's see if I can pick him up anymore. Oh, he just dove right into it. He's a quick little sucker. I'll give him that. Hey, right, bud, I'm trying to help you out here. But either way, I'm getting really tired. But we've actually uncovered the entire thing right now. Um, so you can see here, there's like three sections. So one, two, three. My guess is just the shifting of the soil where the foundation in it moved. Um, because I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but this middle section is a good, like, inch and a half deeper than the two ends. So I'm guessing the foundation kind of moved in one way, uh, and just cracked the entire top here in this three pieces. Um, I have checked, it doesn't really look like it, but over here I have checked that that end is the end. There's no other piece going past it. Um, so that is the last piece of concrete. So now that we have, oh, well, now that we know where these ends are, and uh, there's an opening. We should be able to lift it up, crack it open, um, and then take a look at everything and uh, pump it out. So it's getting late, it's getting dark. I'm getting thirsty, getting tired, getting sore. My neck's starting to hurt for some reason. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap it up here because I keep getting bit by every kind of bug in the world. And I've defeated many cockroaches climbing out of these cracks and stuff. So I'm gonna wrap it up there. I'm gonna go inside and get a shower. And I will see you guys tomorrow either before or during the crew that's here to pop everything out and we'll take a further look at everything else going for there and we'll figure out what else we can do from there so uh, i'm tired i'm gonna go get some water you guys have a good night i'll see you guys tomorrow guys what is up welcome back it's the next day uh and as you can see here we made a little bit of changes we got some updates uh literally the, the pumping company just left um they literally pumped out this entire thing uh probably took 10 minutes less than that uh and yeah we were able to lift this up uh and literally about six inches below on this side uh, is my drain pipe um, coming from the house uh, and the water was already up to it so it had not been drained in a hot minute um so good thing that i got that done it's good for the next few years now uh so i'm not gonna worry about it overfilling or backflowing or whatnot uh bad news uh not looking so good uh so obviously the tank on top here is covered up or is broken into three pieces um and then we have the plastic over the top to stop water from going in filling up a little bit faster uh also there's a drain line in that corner on the top that goes out there uh they suspected that most of my yard is actually a drain field for it um so unfortunately that means that pipe is actually a little messed up uh because it's a little bit clogged up it's got a little bit of crack in the foundation um which leads me to my next point along this wall um is another uh, drain side uh, to the drain field that goes over here or whatnot, wherever that goes. Uh, but that entire wall, uh, not only, I shouldn't say entire wall, but there's a crack running down from the exit pipe to uh, basically the side on the on the far side there. Um, nothing major. Uh, he said that this tank could last me another 10 years or so as long as uh, I'm not disturbing too much of it, like putting a whole bunch of weight on it. Uh, putting in 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 other words making sure i'm not putting a patio on top of it so if i don't put a patio on top of it it should be fine uh in the keyword there it should be so nonetheless what does this mean for the future of this tank i guess so uh well we got some options uh i asked them because i originally thought the the house was on city sewer i originally thought it was actually changed around um that's not the case obviously so how much would it cost to switch over to city sewer? Uh, about 10 grand. 
so yeah not fun um the other option we have is uh replacing the actual tank um which may be beneficial um because originally i had said i want my patio to come out to the edge of right here on the ac unit and obviously this is in way that so how much does it cost to get the tank one replaced and moved um well the good thing is when i do get it replaced you can't take this one out because it it's a multi-day process um to get the tank replaced and moved um so if i took this out for multiple days that means i wouldn't be able to shower shave or shit um so this is going to be in here even if i get a replacement um the good thing about that is since i need to replace it or, or see if i decide to replace it i can move it out or he said i can even move it over here further away from the house um there's a few good things for this one i can keep my patio out here two i get a brand new um septic tank which will last me way more than 10 years uh and the other good thing is it'll be in a more discreet location instead of being right behind my house dead center it would actually be moved out of the way or even if i move it up here i could have the drain line closer to the house and just make it all around easier for when i do need to actually have it being emptied what are the downsides well obviously cost still not cheap a lot cheaper than switching over to city sewer but anywhere i move it in this yard i'm paying for labor i'm paying for parts i'm paying for replacement costs and, and materials and whatnot it's gonna be about 65 to 7 grand so uh still not a cheap option but it's definitely cheaper than going city sewer uh that's also doesn't include having to drain it every three years or so uh which with this company is only is 350 dollars um but nonetheless prices are always going up so that price will probably rise in the future if i were to guess uh the other thing i gotta do is i gotta get an inspector out here does it need to be replaced now how soon does it need to be replaced where can i replace it to if i need to move it all the associated costs getting quotes and estimates and everything so that's gonna be another hassle so not fun but it is what it is so needless to say without reseeding my yard without burning wood without finishing my garage without creating a patio this septic tank alone is going to give me a lot to worry about and a lot to think about and a lot of work on my hands but you know what i'm fine with it so the first thing i had to do anyways was identify what it was that's done the second thing i had to do was pump it out even if i was going to make a patio or whatnot and that's done so i'm one step closer as always to being done with the project uh but unfortunately more things just keep popping up so unfortunately that's gonna be it for now i have a big decision on my hand and i gotta figure out what to do with it so uh that's gonna take some time to replace but nonetheless no matter how many roadblocks we run to or how many decisions i have to make or how many people i have to talk to the channel is not gonna stop i might take breaks here and there like i did this past week but hey that just makes more room for content in the future Regardless of what goes on, guys, hit that subscribe button if you want to stick along for what happens to the septic tank, what happens to my yard, what happens with any of the shenanigans I get into with my friends. So keep up with that. Hit the like button if you like this video, if you learned something new, or if you just feel bad for me because I could use some likes right now. But uh, nonetheless, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.